Hey guys, I'm back with a brand new speed test and in this video we're going to be putting the Oreo powered Samsung Galaxy Note 8 up against the Google Pixel 2 XL. It's time to find out which is the ultimate king of a performance. I mean the Pixel phone of course, uh, there is no denying that this is the best of Android. You get the best smoothest experience. But what about Samsung? Their new Experience 9.0 UI makes things so smooth and fast as well that I really want to see how it goes against the stock Android. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so it's time to boot up both phones at the same time. Here we go. And okay, Galaxy Note 8 comes up first, followed by the Google and Let's see, let's see. Okay, there we go. The Google Pixel 2 XL is just so damn fast when it comes to booting up. It's the fastest phone out there when it comes to booting up, faster than any phone that I've tested so far. And you can see the Note 8, even with updated UI and being faster than iPhone 10, it is still slower than the mighty Pixel 2 XL. So same Wi-Fi network on both phones. You guys know the drill, what we do here. Same Wi-Fi network. Everything is closed up in the background. So let's Let's start off with the first application that is going to be the phone dialer so here we go and as you can see pretty fast on both phones uh, feels a little bit snappier on the pixel 2 xl calculator about the same Moving on to some third-party applications. So first up, we have uh, the good social media app that is Instagram and uh, as you can see about the same on both phones with the latest feed. Moving on to some third-party applications and uh, let's launch the game first of all which is going to be the Subway Surfer game so um, let's see okay the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is faster here followed by the Pixel 2 XL Twitter about the same Snapchat faster on the Note 8 Spotify again slightly faster on the Note 8 let's launch SoundCloud and again, very similar stuff. How about Pinout? And faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So, so far, both phones are looking pretty fast, uh, pretty equal. And uh, we're going to launch more games. So we have Smash Hit game as well. Let's see which is going to be faster here. So uh, seems like the Pixel, yes, the Pixel is slightly faster there. We're going to push these phones to the limit. So we have another game that is going to be the Alto game. So one of my favorite games to play on these bezel-less phones. And uh, the Galaxy Note 8 faster loading up this game as well. We have Instagram. And as you can see that the Note 8 faster with the latest feed. Uh, let's check out my profile. I uh, got loaded about the same. Let's check this post. Similar stuff. And lastly, we'll be launching the cameras at the same time and faster on the Galaxy Note 8. Time for some browsing action. So we have Google Chrome up against the Samsung Internet Browser. So this is going to be a very interesting fight. And uh, first website we have is going to be Apple.com. And as you can see, the Google Pixel 2 XL seems to be faster um, just a tiny bit in loading up this full website, although it was a very similar speed. You can see the difference in the, in the screen color as well. Uh, but if we scroll here, down, no performance issues whatsoever. We got wikipedia.org, another website. And this time, the Galaxy Note 8 seems to be a little bit ahead. I, I could be wrong. Both were really, really fast. Again, you guys are the judge here. Uh, let's move on towards the RAM measurement. Now this is the interesting part because the Pixel doesn't do that well in the RAM measurement. So first application is going to be the phone dialer and as you can see that was indeed a refresh on the Pixel. We saw the white thing calculator and that also got refreshed. Moving on, moving on, we're gonna go to settings, also got refreshed. So far all the system based application got refreshed. So with Surfer, still, no, not still there. Pixel, what are you doing? Twitter got refreshed. Not even a single one. I mean, that that is a bad optimization. Okay, so I think the Snapchat got refreshed on the Note 8 as well. Spotify. Okay, so Note 8 is also 
starting to refresh application. The Spotify was still there on the Pixel. SoundCloud, still there. Pinout, still there. Smash it, still there. Alto, and okay, still there. We're back to the Instagram, back to the browser. So seems like uh, the Note 8 definitely did a lot better in RAM management compared to the Pixel 2 XL. And overall speed wise, you have seen that the Note 8 is definitely not lagging behind. I mean, the processor is working well with the software. It is really, really snappy. Uh, Google, of course, uh, it, it still needs some optimization with the RAM management. I mean, Google knows that not a lot of people are going to use like seven, eight applications at the same time. So for, you know, four applications at max, this phone will do just fine. But you can see the Note 8 is definitely a better phone when it comes to the RAM management. So thank you so much for watching this speed test. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.